Danielle, thank you. This morning, a suspect is in custody following Sunday's fatal shooting at Macahon Beach Park. KITV4's Chloe Markley is in Waianae, where friends and loved ones have begun setting up memorials to honor the 17-year-old who lost his life. Chloe, what is the beach park looking like this morning? Yeah, good morning, Leah. Well, many family and friends of the victim are mourning his loss. You can see right now here at Makaha Beach, a memorial has been set up in his honor. Lots of balloons, flowers, lay, even letters, all honoring the victim. Honolulu police have confirmed the suspect is a 16-year-old boy. He was arrested last night for murder in the second degree and firearms offenses. The victim, a 17-year-old boy. The boy was pronounced dead when officials arrived arrived at the beach park and this morning we're learning more about the suspect. Police told KITV4 the suspect left the scene with another man in a white vehicle. Then a short time later, the Honolulu Fire Department responded to a car fire near the end of Waianae Valley Road. The investigation determined that the vehicle belongs to the suspect. The car has now been recovered and this morning it is at the police station until investigators are granted a warrant to search the vehicle for some evidence. The suspect was located and arrested in Lilyha on Sunday night. HPD has not yet released his name yet, but police say that the suspect and victim were arguing prior to the shooting. And today, a family continues to mourn the loss. On Sunday, we spoke with many family members and the father of the victim. And I just want justice to be served. And want peace among and closure among our family, because he was a good kid. He was a good child. Miguel is calling on legislators to enforce stricter gun laws to help put a stop to gun violence in the community. And this is an ongoing investigation and, of course, we'll bring you the latest information as we get it. For now, reporting live, Chloe Markley, KITV4 Island News.